Old chapter 17 and 18 to describe the fall of this church. So it's important to the Lord, and it's important that we understand the whole counsel of God. Amen. So, amen. Here you go, Brother Keith. The whole chapter. Amen. Chapter 18. Revelation chapter 18, starting at the verse number 1. And after these things I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that you be not partakers of her sins, and that you receive not of her plagues. Mm -hmm. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God has remembered her iniquity. Reward her even as she has rewarded you, and double unto her double according to her works, in the cup she hath filled to her double. How much she hath glorified herself and lived deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her. For she saith in her heart, I sit a queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine. And she shall be utterly burnt with fire for strong is the Lord who judges her. Amen. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived de deliciously with her, shall bewail her and lament her when they shall see the smoking of her burning, standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, when one hour is thy judgment come. And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no, more, for no man buyeth her merchandise, their merchandise any more. For the merchandise of gold and of silver and of precious stone and of pearls and fine linen and purple and silk and scarlet and all fine wood and all manner of vessels of ivory and all manner of vessels of most precious wood and of brass and iron and marble and cinnamon and odors and ointments and frankincense and wine and oil <coughs> and fine flour and wheat and beasts and sheep and horses and chariots and slaves and the souls of men. And the fruits that thy soul lusted after are departed from thee. And all things which were dainty and good, goodly are departed from thee. And thou shalt find them no more at all. The merchants of these things which were made rich by her shall stand afar off for fear of her torment, weeping and wailing, and saying, Alas, alas, that great city that was clothed in fine linen and purple and scarlet, and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls. For in one hour so great riches is come to naught. And every shipmaster and all the company and ships and sailors and as many as trade by sea stood afar off and cried when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, What city is like unto this great city? And they cast dust on their heads and cried, weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas! That great city wherein were made rich all that had ships in the sea by reason of her costliness. For in one hour is she made desolate. Amen. Rejoice over her, thou heaven, Amen. and the holy apostles and prophets, Amen. for God hath avenged you on her. Amen. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown Amen. down, Amen. and shall be found no more at all. Amen. And the voice of harpers and musicians and pipers and trumpeters shall be heard no more at all in thee, and no craftsman of whatever craft he be shall be found any more in thee, and the sound of the millstone shall be heard no more at all in thee, and the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee. And the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee. For the merchants were the great men of the earth, for by thy sorceries were all nations deceived. And in her was found the blood of the prophets and of the saints 
and of all that was slain upon the earth. Amen. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we thank you uh, once again for the great hope that the scriptures tell us, that there is nothing that escapes your eye, God, and all of the uh, conspiracies and sorceries and all of the underhanded working behind the scenes, whether it be in homes and uh, cities and counties and governments, uh, how small or great, God, it has not escaped your eye. One day, they'll have to stand before a holy mm -hmm. God and Amen. Have to count. Amen. Father, here it is the patience of the saints. God, we wait on thee, but until that time, Father, help us to never compromise with Rome. God, show us where we have compromised. God, show us where we might have unwittingly uh, struck a deal anywhere. God, may we completely separate ourselves. God, we're so thankful we aren't Reformed Baptists. God, we don't have anything to be Reformed of, but we come from the true church. Lord, that you founded, God, and that you give wisdom for all those.